Hey YouTube, Inch95 here, or Alex, most of you guys know me now, uh, from Regionals. This is going to be a update slash semi-Regionals overview video on, on February 12th, which is was yesterday on a Saturday. I'm making this video straight the next day. Uh, there was a Regionals in Sacramento, California, and... I'm gonna bring you guys a major update for that. It was actually, I'm, this is a small overview. I'll have a bigger overview. You guys, I'll tell you exactly what happened. Some of you guys know a lot of the issues that went down. Now this is some really stupid stuff. I don't wanna get into too much detail and this video may be kinda long, so please bear with me because the updates are probably what you guys will mainly care about. So I'm gonna hop right into it. Um, I actually, I'm gonna, I kept, I kept a tab of what I played against, stuff like that. Um, so basically, uh, I'm not going to get into a lot of the bullshit that happened. I'll talk about that later. Firstly, I'm going to tell you guys exactly what I played against. Um, the f I'll show you guys the deck. I actually don't have any of my stuff on me right now at all whatsoever. Um, again, that goes along with the bullshit. I, I'll just tell you what I played. I played a Gladiator Beast deck, my own variant. It was a secret variant. I've been testing it for an immense amount of time, and I felt it was the best variant. I ended up top 8 the regionals. However, this is exactly what I played against. Um, round one, I actually lost a five dollar bet because round uh, I was betting friend uh, for one of my best friends uh, that I was not going to play six samurais round one, and I did. And we wanted to see if I did, and I did end up playing six samurais round one. Um, I beat that deck. Um, I'm I'm pretty sure I think every single one of my games went into uh, either I two won or I two owed them. Um, the only, I only, so Sam's round one, I went 2-1, uh, it was this one guy I played actually a couple of Sacramento originals ago, he was a, he was a pretty good player, six samurais, 2 one him, second, um, in the round two, I faced a Lightsworn variant, um, this really cool dude, um, except game one, actually I ended up losing for some stupid reason, I don't know, it was a really weird matchup, he drew double JD, double Honest, Lumina, charge turn one, two solar recharge, and yeah, I drew an all, um, actually, I, I'll show you guys my deck list later, I'll probably have it in the under bar. Um, it'll probably also have the link to the Heroes on Paper, um, website, where it shows my top 8 deck list. So hopefully they put that up soon. Um, I, game, I, I had to come back for the 2-1, I really was just furious. I'd never lost game 1's any Lightsworn variant. Uh, round 3, I was actually late for it, however, I played my, probably... My best friend, in all honesty, like both in and out of Yu-Gi-Oh, I trust him immensely, and he's one of the people that helped me out get sort of get out of my really tough situation at the moment. My friend Andre, he was running an Infernity variant, and I was doing a lot of trading, buying and selling. I was doing lightweight vending at the regionals, and it was right before round three. I guess round three had started, and I was downstairs at the convention center in Sacramento, and I thought they were going to use a loudspeaker rather than just yell it out, have fucking AJ, fuck AJ, by the way, the judge there. Um, just yell it out of the door so people he so that he hoped that people would hear it. And I was late to it, but luckily my friend called me. He's like, "Where are you at?" I'm like, "Why?" He said, "He's like, he's like round three just started." I was like, "What the fuck?" I was like, "How did you know I wasn't there?" And I find out we we've never played each other in regionals, and I think he and I jinxed it because we all we he played two of us. He both hooked us up. He hooked me, my friend Will, and Charles up with a ride and everything. But he ended up playing me and Will. Um, I kind of got the win there. Um, I really appreciate that. I kind of wanted to. I we really didn't play too serious. He didn't call Judd on me, at, like, cause I was gone for like three minutes, so none of that happened. Uh, we got a lunch break for once. Thanks for the lunch break, judges. But you know, fuck mo the, like the majority of the judges. Round four, I played another six samurai deck. Um, I could tell the player was kind of new. I went two one against him. Game one, I won fairly easily. In game two, I I drew pretty bad, and he kind of drew the nuts. He drew two gateway, two united and smoke signal and one warning and i think later on he ended up off one of the united he probably drew like a second warning a solemn judgment and a musikani magatama game three i, ha I had to um buff that he also game two what i was gonna say is he got two sheens out so i really couldn't come, couldn't come back from that uh, turn one he got out both sheens so game three he ended up getting out one sheen one nacheria beast and like two back rows i had to uh, rough that game out. I think probably my favorite card of this regionals was probably Spirit Reaper, to be completely honest. It was in my main deck. You guys will probably see that. It helped me out of almost every samurai situation. I I love drawing that card. It's amazing. It stalled everything. If they don't have six hand of the six samurai, um, I pretty much win. Um, and as far as six, hand of six sam, I made them, I wanted them to bring it out because I could bait it out and, you know, stop their stuff and just stall until I drew all my outs. Uh, 
In round five, I played a plant player. He was uh, actually pretty good. Actually, two of my matches, uh, even including round five against the, against the plant player, ran into time. That was my second match into time. So I was, if I win into time one more time, I get a warning. And I really didn't want that. You know, I just didn't want the warning. So that was just, that was just me. I don't like getting any infractions or whatever they call it. Round five, I played a plant player. Uh, game one, he drew really bad, but I didn't draw that good either. He didn't draw too bad. Like, he drew okay. Like, he drew t um, double lone fire, I think, game one and game two. But he didn't draw Pot of Avarice um, at all, except in game three. Game one, I won. Game two, I drew not that good. I, I Every game, pretty much my whole regionals, I never drew broken. I never drew good. I always start with Mermillo Retiari for, the, for those guys of you that know me. I never draw really that well. And I think my monster count was 13 mo main deck monsters. Um, so I had to rough that one out. It went into time. Um, the matches that did go on the time, though, I was playing really smart. I wasn't stalling or anything. It's just I know how to how to win. I was playing my deck conservatively and winning with time um, while I was in time. So there was no stalling. Round six, I played a mirror match. Game one, I was furious. I drew triple chariot, no GB in sight, and like an MST or whatever. I'm pretty sure the guy didn't know how to stack, but he is the luckiest son of a bitch I've ever met. Um, game two, I had a, I was pissed. Like, seriously, I'm pretty sure he didn't know how to stack, but I called the judge. I wanted him to final shuffle and final cut both of our decks, you know, just in case I didn't want to be safe. He was cool about it. The dude really didn't know what was going on um, when I, when that happened. I called David Lee. For those of you guys who know him, shout out to Team Purple Panda. I'll get more into them later. Um, I had to rough game two out pretty bad. Game three, I had to come back from that. Like, game three was just miserable for me to come back. I didn't top deck at all. I had to bait him into bringing out his bestiary, and I had a dark hole I'd conserved. I wanted him to get out two GBs. I did that. Um, I torrentialed when he got out his Geyseris, reborn that, activated my reborn, um, brought that back, killed both his back rows because I knew he had a chariot and some bullshit bluff back row, which was actually a proving ground, which I, I made the right read. I won that. Um, so I was undefeated up until round six. Um, I'm actually a superstitious player, for those of you guys who don't know me, so I never like saying my record during tournaments. And those of you guys that saw me there, I, my line is, this is my favorite line in tournaments. When someone asks me, what's your record? I say, I'm still in the tournament. And that's just me, and people started picking up on that line. Um, then comes match seven. And match seven, uh, I was at t I was at the top tables for every single round. I was at table one, two, and three for the for since round four, I believe. Um, round seven, I was at table one. I met this cool dude. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know your name, and I'm not reading racist, but it was this really cool Mexican dude, really chill. We were talking for like a minute before the game started, and they decided to do a deck check. And the deck check was the longest deck check I have ever seen. Every other person gave him like 12, 15 minute extension. They came over, his deck was cool, in like 15, not not even 15 minutes, it was probably like a 30 minute deck check. They come up to me and all my friends, I know pretty much every single judge there, I'm pretty much cool with all of them except a couple, which some of you guys know what happened if you were there. Um, they ended up giving me a match loss, I was completely furious, I knew I was going to go undefeated the entire day, and I was the only undefeated player uh, throughout the entire regionals, however, round 7 was off the last round. But they gave me a match loss due to the fact that, um, I didn't realize this, but I was not using my original Gorse token, like the original one that I, that I got in the mail a little while ago. And I was using a cutout one, some of you guys know it, it I put the Gorse behind it and it has like a cutout token. And I didn't know that, and I had a Gorse in my deck regardless, I think it was sided. And they said that, that not a, that, um, constitutes as another Gorse, that's one game loss. And then another half of that game loss was also constituted by the fact that I don't know, some of you guys have probably seen that little Michael Jordan token I have. It's the same thing, just a cutout of a token. The inner part is cut out. And then I had a piece of leather, literally a piece of leather, stick inside from old Michael Jordan shoe, the Jumpman symbol. And behind that, I guess I must have done it maybe like a year ago, maybe even two years ago. I probably put like a Chimera the myth, Flying Mythical Beast behind it just to make the card less flimsy because, you know, I didn't want it just flapping around a piece of leather and a cutout of a card. So they said that it's still a playable card. Um, that's one game loss. The second game loss was actually for having a 16 card extra deck and it wasn't exactly a 16 card extra deck They were complaining about me not having translations because I like using foreign cards and I decided to use all foreign cards So that happened um, They decided to do that. I explained to them the situation. They were like, okay I had translations for everything, but the 16 card extra deck I was running glads. I only ran um, two glider beast her clean us in the side uh, extra deck but I had a third one because the third one was actually German and I did not mean to have that third, that third one there. I just want. I always tell my opponents every second or third round, 
but technically if I didn't tell them the, the translation is supposed to be outside the deck box and I thought it was okay because I had two secret hercs and a ultimate German one. So they gave me a game loss for that because it's still technically uh, another extra deck card that I had in there that wasn't supposed to be there. So I lost that. I was furious. Everybody supported me. You know, David Lee, um, shout out to him, Russ, who else? Uh, just, just a lot of cool people there. They all supported me. One sec, I'm getting a phone call. One sec. Hopefully I'll finish this vid up real quick. Sorry about that pause. Anyway, um, well, as I was saying, there's a lot of cool people, judges there. They all supported me. They didn't want to get me to give me the game loss because I was outplaying every opponent that day. I wasn't, I mean, everybody knows I don't cheat or anything like that. Um, I was doing really well, and I was furious, especially David Lee. He supported me. He offered to actually watch my last match. I wanted him to. I wanted to get a couple judges to watch my finals match of the day because I couldn't, I, every, I knew everybody's going to watch me on the bubble because most people try to tie because technically I was seven and six and one then. And if I tie, I still make it in top eight. If I win, I make it in the top eight. But if I lose, I don't because I'd be X and two. Round eight, I played this really cool girl. Um, I forgot her name. I'm really sorry. It wasn't Jackie. Shout out to Jackie, by the way. Um, she was a plant player. She was amazing, by the way. For I know I'm not being sexist, but for a girl plant player, she was amazing. She had everything highest rarity, too. I was kind of jealous. She had ulti pods, German stuff, CP, lone fires, everything. And she was really amazing. Uh, we took that to game three, surprisingly. I drew kind of bad game two. Game one, I won. Game three, I won that. I kind of cranked that out. She ended up decking out, actually, because she kept on milling with Trooper. And she didn't mean to, but I it went into time. And I won in time, and she top decked a reborn Dark Hole, and she made one misplay because I had a Geyseris in my grave. She could have reborn my Geyseris, popped my two GBs, or a back row, and attack for game. So that was her misplay, and I capitalized on that and won. I was seven and one at this point, really miserable and mad that I didn't go undefeated, which I should have, ha would I, which I should have, because I didn't even find out the round seven match loss deck that I was going to be playing against. And honestly, I'm not trying to sound cocky, but I'm, gu I guaranteed, feel like I would have went undefeated and been the only undefeated player in Swiss. I got fourth in Swiss. Top eight comes around. I find out I'm supposed to end up they they're before the deck check. I know I'm supposed to play my friend Michael Ramis. He was going to run 6 Sam, so another 6 Sam match. Hope, probably I would have won that because I was really doing amazing against 6 Sam's that day. And because I got 4th in Swiss now because I wasn't undefeated, I would have gotten 1st and played my friend Gospel. Shout out to him. He ended up playing Kyle. But during the deck check, um, I was kind of mad because I got that match loss. We were all talking. We were playing craps and stuff on the other side of the venue. And initially what happened was they called me over. Again, because the judges hate me, and of all judges to give me a fucking deck check, it was AJ to give me the deck check. And they go through my deck, everything was fine except one card. And I was actually, for once, I, I always use per, uh, PC whites, but for once I had two left over, it was my last one's Cam C sleeves. And most people know they're not the best quality, but they're pretty close to PC. And I actually had a German Mirror Force that, it wasn't the card that was damaged, but the sleeve itself, it had... Um, it w they said it was a puncture. It wasn't exactly a puncture. It was two indentations on the card. And I told them it was probably from the deck box or something when I was swapping sleeves. And they were trying to explain to me all these ethics and how it was impossible or whatever. In all honesty, I drew Mirror Force like once or twice that day. And if I, I actually, my variant was really weird. And I think this is what took me to the to top eight. Um, I actually had like two potter dualities. Obviously, I had Mirror Force, uh, Dark Hole, Reborn. I, if I really wanted to cheat and pick a card to add to my hand, I honestly would pick a card a little bit more effective this format, especially since Sam's were so prevalent and dominant. I, I mean, she and fucks Mirror Force up, so I mean, I'd rather pick something else that I could use more effectively. So legitimately, that was that was my good reason. And I think because in the morning, the deck box, I had a separate deck box um, with new sleeves, and I guess I must have been resleeving or whatever, because I needed, I guess probably a Mirror Force sleeve was probably a little scratched up or whatever, had dirt on it or whatever it was. And in this other deck box, I think I had a dice box. You guys know I have that little, I don't know if you guys know, those little square deck boxes, the plastic ones. And I had it in this other regular deck box, probably about about yay big. And the deck box is probably, the dice box is about this wide. I had cards in here. Over the course of the day, I acquired about a full deck box worth of cards. Because I didn't have that much space on me, I just carried a little bag. A uh, little, one of those little backpacks, um, sports ones. And I gained cards, so I took the dice box out, and I guess... Probably when I swapped out, I took a card. I didn't have extra sleeves. I took out a sleeve. And it was probably the front one. Like I mean, it was probably subconsciously. And I took out the took out that sleeve. It probably got indentations from the dice box. So I was extremely pissed. They said they were either going to decide between a DQ or a match loss. Um, and they decided to disqualify me. And 
I was furious. I was pissed. I had other issues going on because I had to leave. Some of you guys know my fam doesn't know I play and deal with a lot of stuff. But regardless of that, um, I was pissed. I had to go really soon. I had my rides and stuff, and everything was just insane. I was every, My head was, like, going crazy at that time, and it wasn't, like, the biggest worry, but they made me fill out. I was pissed because, honestly, I don't think a big Konami, company like Konami reads all the little appeals and shit. So I, think, I, I guess I, whatever, I, I was like, fuck it, I'll just fill it out. I filled it out. I didn't think it through about the dice box. I honestly didn't think it through. I didn't put that down on my appeal. I told them I was legitimately... Um, playing, there was no reason for me to stack a mirror force or quote unquote snag it or mark it or whatever. It was probably just an accident or something that I damaged it somehow uh, when I was putting sleeves on or taking them off. Um, but I'd got no prizes. I was extremely mad. You know, the invite and whatnot. The um, the, the I got the top eight and everything, but I didn't get the mat. I didn't get the binder because I probably would have won my top eight. I w I walked out. I was fierce. I just slammed the shit out of the door. Like I I pushed a table over. And I was I was on a rampage. I just walked out the venue. Everybody was like waiting for me and a couple other friends of mine that had topped outside. I left, and other bullshit went down. I had to you know fam issues, um, and I had to actually end up putting the trust into one of my best friends again that I played around three, and he has all my current stuff right now. Um, I had family members not being able to get a hold of me for nearly twenty four hours. They thought something was going down, and I had to leave my stuff. And again, they obviously don't know I play, so I had to leave my stuff with him. Hopefully I'll get everything back by the end of this week or next week. So yeah, main shout out. Some, that was kind of my original story. is kind of bullshit. Other stuff went down now. I really don't feel I'm obliged to discuss, especially here with you guys. But I really want to thank um, Travis Caleb Sobon. He gave me a, Caleb Sobon, Travis. He hooked me up with the ride to the venue itself. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Adam Beloradsky, Ty, a bunch of other cool people, Chris, uh, Chris Gasparian, J-Hub, um, Russ, um, fuck AJ, the judge, I hate his ass, and Robert Pace and Ramon, they all were after me. Another good point I'd like to bring up, you know what, all you North Cal, North Cal judges, I probably, I'm pretty sure none of you guys are going to watch this video, but if any of you guys out here are North Cal players, you ever see any judges here in North Cal, if you ever see the name AJ, Robert Pace, or Ramon pop up, just say fuck you in all honesty, those judges are bitches. I heard 90% of the judges talking shit about me and my friends, and I have it recorded. One of my friends has a videotape, or a little recording on his on his iPhone too, that these judges were talking shit. They said, oh I don't like him, I don't like them, he's garbage, oh he talks too much, blah 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 blah. You know what, fuck you, to be honest. I'm sorry I'm doing this, but just fuck you guys. Like 90% of the NorCal judges are bullshit. They're, they're thieves. I know for a fact some of them steal shit during deck checks. They didn't do that to me, thank God. But they're fucking bullshit. They hate people, and they can't play the game for shit. They fuck up all their rulings, and, you know, anyway, I'm sorry. I'm getting mad at you guys. But David Lee, he was judging Team Purple Panda. He is their leader. He helped me out so much throughout that day. And as far as Team Purple Panda, uh, I am actually, until I get my stuff back and get acquainted and get all my personal issues sorted out, I'm probably going to have them do a little stuff on my channel, you know, help me out, post videos while I'm gone for a little while, probably like a week or two, you know, depending on how long all my stuff takes, and personal issues get worked out. I actually, right now, I don't have too much access to a phone, so, you know, I'll try to check my messages as much as I can. As far as trading updates, just to let you guys know, I know this is probably like a 20 minute video now, but hopefully you guys sticked out, buffed it out through me, uh, buffed it out through this video. Um, as far as trades that are going on, I honestly don't have my stuff, and I'd like to apologize to every single one of my traders. Um, this is not bullshit. I still have everyone's stuff. Um, I, I always keep it separately. I think this is some stuff I had. This is just one of the many boxes I have. Some of you guys probably recognize some of the stuff you guys ordered. Um, I know some, this, this isn't all of it. This is just some random, the, not this, not this. People didn't order that. But I know for a fact that people ordered cards off me, um, product and stuff. So I'd like to apologize to every single trader. You will get your stuff. A lot of my stamps and stuff were in there. Um, I really don't... I hope you, none of you guys call me a scammer because in all honesty, if I were a scammer, I'd probably scam people for bigger amounts of money rather than little budget binder things or small things. Again, I'd like to apologize to every single one of you for the inconvenience. Um, I'd like to thank Liz. My, um, She's a really cool lady. She hooked me up with everything. She got me out of a situation. Andre, Will... Uh, lightweight shout out to Charles. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully until next time I'm inch 95 here Alex watch out for team purple panda on my channel and a bunch of other people Again, thanks to everyone and uh, hopefully the people that did bad 
you know, they get their just desserts. So thank you guys all so much. And until next time, I'm Inch95. Peace, you guys.